All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. Our ladder has just reset. And it's funny, actually, because I made, I was like 350 Mythic or whatever at once, once the season finished. So I made the top 1,200, but I had already qualified for the qualifier by doing well in the PAX Online tournaments. So <laughs> didn't even need to be top 1,200, but I still managed to do it, which is kind of cool, I guess. And uh, But now we're here. We got a fresh ladder to play. We got tons of decks to play. And um, we're going to play... Uh, a little historic to start, and then we're gonna play a lot of standard. Right now, we're gonna start with historic, and then I saw this deck on uh, on Twitter. Um, I believe it was on Travis Gibson's Twitter. I know. I think uh, Ali Warfield's also been playing a deck similar to this as well. I don't know where it originated from, but um, this deck is super sweet. All right, this is a Forsaken Monument, all colorless historic deck. Forsaken Monument's a new card from Zendikar Rising, five mana artifact. Basically, the colorless Marari's Wake. Um, all your colorless creatures get plus plus two plus two. But if you tap permanent for colorless, you get two colorless. And whenever you play a colorless spell, you gain two life. So the only thing this card doesn't do is draw you cards. Otherwise, it does everything else. Makes mana, gains life, makes your stuff bigger. Pretty powerful effect to have on the battlefield. Um, definitely super sweet. We're playing a ton of Planeswalkers here. Uh, four Ugin the Great Creator with our Ugin sideboard. You can see right here. And then... Uh, Three, Karn, Sai, and Aversa. Oh, I'm fan with, with uh, Karn, Sai, and Aversa. Did I say Ugin, the Great Creator? Karn, the Great Creator. What am I, what am I doing here? I'm mixing up my Planeswalkers. Uh, Karn, Sai, and Aversa, super cool card. Um, we got Ugin, the Ineffable, which is super sweet in this deck. Um, obviously, it's just a fine card by itself, but the static ability actually really matters because it says colorless cards cost two us to cast. So that's the entire deck. So um, that's pretty awesome. Of course, it kills things, draws cards. That's great. We got Big Daddy Ugin, um, I don't need to explain why this card is good. Two Ulamog and then some ramp here. Hedron Archive, Mind Stone, Guardian Idol, Maze Mind Tomb, and then three copies of Graph Digger's Cage in the main deck. Hello Goblins. Hello Goblins. Uh, tons of cool lands here. Interplanter Beacon, a card that I love. I love gaining life on my lands because it's a really good job of that. Bunch of creature lands here in the new Crawling Barons as well as Mobilized District. Uh, Radiant Fountain, Safari and Roid, Zoid, Blast Zone, and then uh, a sideboard here for our Karn, basically. Uh, we have Mystic Forges for grinding matchups when the when the cages are bad. A couple Spyglasses, but most part we have a Wish Board here, and we have uh, our Golos in the board to get our Cascading Cataract, which can activate the Golos, which is pretty sweet. And um, basically it. Looks cool. I don't know. Mono Colorless. I've wanted to build a deck like this since... Uh, since uh, the spoiler was released, and I didn't have to build it because someone else did. So um, that's uh, always makes life easy, right? I got some of my decks for playing later on standard, though, so don't you worry. So let's hop back into the ladder, our, our first ladder matches after the reset. And um, we're going to play a lot today and try and get back to Mythic as soon as possible. Haven't really done that before, so we're going to see if we can do that. That'd be kind of cool. Would be kind of cool. Yes, good against Euro in Historic as well, good against Arcanist, good against the Sacrifice decks, good against, good against a lot of things. So. Let's go. Bonus playing Loris. Nice Graph Digger's Cage. Uh, we're going to keep. We're going to keep. We're going to go Zafarian Void and another Barons. I don't think I want land number four here. I think we, we can be better than that. We should just bottom this and look for a, a Man Accelerator, I think. Cornball, resub. Thanks so much. I guess we'll just cage it up. The Mystic Forges are in the sideboard because you can't play Mystic Forge and Graph Digger's Cage together. So... Stitch with Supplier against my Graph Digger's Cage. Nerd! Radiant Fountain? All right. So we'll, uh, Safari and Void. And, uh, Blast Zone's, like, probably pretty fine, honestly. They're gonna have a lot of ones and twos. I'm cool with that. We're gonna keep that one. Um, it means we don't have a play next turn, but I think that's fine. Might slow them down a little bit, too, so. Supplier number two. Sure. A bunch of cards in the graveyard. They don't really matter. No delve here. Blast zone. We're going to hold this, though. Actually, I guess we could pump it up to two. Two is pretty important. Yeah, we don't want to put on a blast our cage either, so. All of their important things cost two. Uh, young Pyromancer, Arcanist, etc. So. Fire mind. What's up? Igor is a boss. Who's Igor? We had a big announcement earlier, and uh, we have a new, a new friend for the stream. His name is Igor. I'm gonna post his picture on Twitter. Um, camera's not set up for him yet, but he's a, uh, 
He's a good little dude. Good little Igor. Igor Shesterkin is his name. Put Lurus in the hand, sure. Put a counter on our, our Blast Zone. And Forsaken Monument is here. Um, Ugin's obviously pretty insane against them. I kind of like just playing Karn and making a token, though. You can block these things. I guess they can, like, claim it and attack the Karn. That would suck. Um, I wish Karn plus also, honestly. Um... Yeah, I think playing Archive isn't necessary. We can just play Karn and plus it, and then play Monument next turn, and then just unload the turn after, so... We're not really under much duress, so... Alright, so we draw a Guardian Idol or an Archive. They're going to give us the Guardian Idol, which is great. Forsaken Monument. That's, that's where we're at right now. This is what we're doing. We are Forsaken Monumenting in Historic. If you're tuning in, welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. Hit that follow button. Hit the follow button if you're watching on YouTube. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Welcome, welcome, welcome. OG says, heard back from up. Oh, they gotta kill my thing. That's nice. Got them on Twitter. Sure. Sounds good, OG. I'll, I'll message them. And Lurus of a Dream Dead, uh, which can, can't cast things. Maybe we draw another Forsaken Monument. All right, that's fine, I guess. Um, so we're going to play Fountain Monument, just say go. We could play Archive and Idol. That would be five, six, seven. That would be eight mana for Ugin next turn. Um, play Monument, though. We should cast Ugin anyway, and we also gain life, too. We should play the Monument. It's better to have a cool animation, all right? All right, that was a pretty cool animation. I respect that. I respect that. Skyclave Shade. Yeah, whatever. Whatever. So, now whenever we tap permanent, taps for double. Taps for double. Wow. Just gonna pack it up. Just gonna pack it up. Not even gonna keep playing. Game. Blouses. After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancakes. Alright, sweet. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll keep going here. Maybe they uh, got somewhere to be. I mean, they don't know we have Ugin, right? So, yeah, you know, just things happen. It's fine. It's not a big deal. Alright, folks, she's brought to you by uh, Colas Apparel. Colasapparel.shop. Check out the shirts. A lot nicer than my painting shirt, let me tell you. Alright? What's a sea wolf? I'm a sea wolf. Uh, so check out Colossus Apparel. Uh, promo code Jim10, 10% 10 off your order. Uh, Colossusapparel.shop. It's me. I'm on the telly. I'm on the telly. And uh, yeah, Forsaken Monument is too good, I guess. They saw the animation and they just eat their pants. New shirt. Mog Rootwater. Check that one out. All right. Colossusapparel.shop. Promo code Jim10, 10% 10 off your order. Let's do this. Probably tilted by the main deck cage. Yeah, probably, actually. That's a, that's a pretty worthy conclusion. Uh, Miss Ant's great. We love this. Forest Health Collector. Alright. Alright. Um, Blast Zone should be good. This will void. Mine Stone? I already have a Mine Stone. Um, I don't think you want this. I don't think you want this. Man, it'd be really cool if, uh, if Spatial Contortion was legal, you know? Resilient camera? Mm. Sure. That's, uh, that's a beat. Stack for four on turn uh, turn two. Sure. That's kind of beat down. Kind of beat down. We are on the draw here and not actually doing anything to affect the board, so we are probably just dead here. <laughs> Realistically. Uh, they have attacked us for... Uh, that card's good, but not good enough. They've attacked us for uh, for 12 damage, uh, and we haven't even taken our third turn yet. So, pretty sure we're just dead here. We have no plays. So, all right, that was fun. Uh, we got any, like, worm coil engines or anything? Anything cool? 
in the sideboard? Not really. All right. Um, I've got the cages because they don't have eight things. Bring the Mystic Forges. Uh, Perilous Vault. Ooh. Yeah, that kind of sucked. We'll just like not get beat, beat so bad, I guess. Yeah, Spatial Contortion would be a nice one. That would be definitely uh, definitely be a nice one. We would like that. We would like that. Quick game so far today. Jeez, All right? First. This is a lot better. These Interplanar Beacons are going to be really, really good. We're going to gain so much life off our lands this game. We don't actually have anything yet, but on the play, I'm pretty happy with this hand. So... Beacon. Interplanar Bacon. I do like Interplanar Bacon. I like any kind of bacon. Lionel Ralph, sure. Mystic Forge. That's a pretty good one to have on turn three, on the play. A lot of Planeswalkers in our deck. So, uh, two life per spell. Pretty good. Ooh. Timber Crown Pathway and Rootbound Crag. Ouchie wowie. I think they uh, weren't expecting that. Just saying. Crawling Barons? All right. We can, like, hide our fountain. I mean, we can, like, Archive and Mind Stone here. And then we can Monument Mystic Forge. We can just cast the Mystic Forge. A Wooster, month number two, most important month. Thanks to Risa, I appreciate that. You great. Yeah, let's do this. Let's go big. Let's go big. Now, Ancient Grudge isn't in uh, Historic, is it? Because who knows whether, whatever's in Historic ever, you know? So next turn we can go collector, sure. Yeah, being at, at 20 life on turn three rather than eight is a lot better. Oh, we have company. Oh, that's probably true, I guess. That's probably true. All right. Uh, this thing adds an additional. So we want to tap the archive for mana. 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 Forsaken monument. And then play this off two lands. Gains you life. Top card is Guardian Idol. Love it. Top card is Karn the Great Creator. So we can't cast that, but we're we're in pretty pretty happy land here, I think. Uh, we're definitely in, in a nice spot. We're getting down. This puts up. Yeah, you can bring the beats here, but I mean, are we okay? Actually, it's a pretty that's a pretty big attack. Uh, Top card is Guardian Idol. So we have almost infinite mana. I mean, and every spell we cast gains us two life. What can Karn get us? I actually don't know our deck list super well. Um, let's take a look at our deck. Should I play a land, buy some time. Thanks, Cardboard Live. Big shout out to Cardboard Live for being awesome. Uh, we've got Shadow Spear, Platinum Angel, Perilous Vault. Perilous Vault's pretty good. I kills all my stuff, though. Uh, what's up, Mohawk? I mean, Golos ain't bad. It can block and stuff. Uh, we're going to start... Isn't Vault all colorless? I think it just kills everything. All right, so... Play Guard Idol. Four to our top card is a Forsaken Monument. It doesn't really help us. It's legendary, of course. I'm going to pop that off. Top card's Blast Zone. All right. We can draw off of Mind Stone. Blast is actually really good. They have multiple ones in play. We can play Karn, which will gain us a bunch of life. Uh, we're just gonna minus. We have one, two, three, four, five. We have a ton of mana. I can get Platinum Angel. Can they? Can they kill Platinum Angel? We think. Ratchet bombs on zero. It's not very good. Shadow Seer. I guess Meteor Golem, I guess, too. I think Platinum Middle is too risky. Golos ain't bad either, though. Um, let's get Meteor Golem, I guess. It's a 5-5, five, five, too. So we'll kill, like... I guess... The Scavenging Ooze. So we can Blast Zone the Pell Collector and the Land Rolls next turn. We're gonna play a Lamas turn, I believe. I guess we just draw that, right? I mean, whatever. 
avoid on top. Sure. All right, we'll just uh, say go. Once the engine's going, like, I mean, gaining life and drawing cards is pretty sweet. Not playing Mystic Forge main is a little sketch. Um, you gotta be really, really sure about your, your Graph Digger's Cage call to put that card in your main deck, but. Got the Iron Man superhero landing here. All right, well, they can't have Embercleave, so. Uh, gonna make some blocks. Super Metroid. Um, I never actually played that game, Diothar, when I was a kid. Um, it's a possibility. It's also like a one-player game. We try, 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 try to do a co-op games in the John and Jim show. Ooh, he did it. He did the superhero landing. I mean... Why are you laughing? Bone Crusher Giant? Yeah, whatever. Alright, we need to stop giving me priority here. Yeah, I mean, we kill that, we untap, we, we, uh, we're gonna go get, like, I mean, maybe now we'll get Platinum Angel? We have no ones in play, right? No. All right, uh, we gotta pop the... Ugin the Ineffable. Oh, we're going off, folks. We're going off. Uh... It's over. It's over. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, Karn. What? Um, yeah, that was better. More like that game. More like that game, less than the first game, right? Karn, put some pants on. Jeez. Yeah, I think, the, I think the Mystic Forgers would be in the main deck if the cages weren't, like, really good against most of the format. Uh, but the cages are put in the main deck as, like, a hedge. That was pretty sweet. I'm not going to lie. Um, I am, uh, I am, I am happy. But Karn is liberated. Uh, we're gonna mulligan. Opponent also mulliganed. I mean, this hand's really sketch. Uh, this hand's really... They kept six. This hand doesn't do anything. Uh, just like all the slow cards. Can we go to five, though? I'm just gonna keep. We have a void, we have a tomb. I'm just gonna keep. Get rid of, uh, one of these archives. Oasis. You're my wonder wall. Karn the Great Creator. Don't need two of those. Uh, An Arky says, I'm playing a stack that beats everything except for lucky aggro draws. I mean, their mana base seems bad. Uh, I'm actually gonna, you know, throw it out there. All right, void me. Guardian Idol, one turn too late. One turn too late. Um, we don't really have any threes, though, right? So, like, what are we doing next turn anyway? Um, hmm. They're beaten. They're beaten. What's up, Alf's War? Listen, they're always going to be haters, you know? It's always going to be haters. It's not a problem. It doesn't concern me. I'm here to have a good time. I'm here to have a good time! Yeah, we're gonna ship this. Alright, and then we'll play the tomb. The tome, tomb, tome, 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 tomb. Yeah, we just draw a card actually. Look at this mana base. Oof. PU. Please don't play a haster. A red. A green. That's a that's a haster. Alright, we're gonna scry. Uh no. Get off my plane. Well, maybe if you draw a card, a good card war, then you'll be able to do that one again. District. Alright, I think we're just gonna draw. We don't have any tap lands in our deck. Blastone's not bad. That's a start. I think it's some beats here though. I think it's some beats. Man, they they actually don't have any basic lands in their entire deck. Oh god, we're dead anyway, though. Oh, okay, hang on. Their hand is too bad here, folks. I mean, we could upkeep Scry. I don't even know what we're scrying into. Um, open on Mindstone. Yeah, we're, we're just dead. I don't, I, I don't... We got nothing. Uh, yeah, we're super dead. Alright, I mean... It does seem like we're pretty soft to aggro. 
Um, we don't really have like just anything. I mean, blockers or like any removal or anything like that. Uh, I wonder. Um, I wonder what. Uh, like, is there like a good artifact blocker we could play or something like that? That's tough. That's tough. I think the red green beat down deck. I don't think it's that popular in a store, but I don't know. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Solemn costs four. Like, it's just too much, you know? Um, I want something to do on turn two and three. Like, it's funny. I think of uh, Clockwork, whatever, the two, three that adamants to draw a card. Obviously, we can't play that card, but a card like that would be good. It's like a two, three that draws a card. Um, it's okay, though. Gargoyle's pretty bad. Inquisitive Puppet, also pretty bad. Opponent is playing Kahira the Orphan Guards. That means they were like a blue-white control deck or something, probably. Uh... He's just grafted your cage is probably pretty bad. Um, I'm mulligan, I think. Stone Coil Serpent. That was all right. Gleaming Barrier. That's not bad. That's the 04 when it dies, you get treasure. That card's not bad. I could buy that. Um, I don't know. My cage is probably just dead. Yeah, I'm just a mulligan. This is better. Keep this and. We're going to ship the Ulamog, even though we're probably going to want it later on. Um, because they're playing blue-white controls, and it'd be like a long game. But okay, here's the Cat Lord, but it just, it just play by next week with uh, no creatures. Just like the free no creature uh, companion. If you're just not playing any, any creatures, you just put this, put, put this card as your companion for free. Which is kind of annoying, but whatever. They're also playing Mindstone. Ah, fellow Chucker, eh? Anyone? Fellow Chucker? Anyone? Anyone? Fellow Chucker, eh? Alright, um... Yeah, I'm just playing Mindstone. I mean, it's a free card, you know? It's a free card. Yeah, I imagine this match is also kind of bad. It's a bunch of counter spells. We can't really, like, do anything about it. Like... Mikey! Mikey Kahira for this deck? I can't cast it, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know how he'd be counter spells, honestly. Like, we're trying to jam every turn, I guess. Whoa, what happened? I didn't do that. That wasn't me. That was not me. Bad against aggro and control. It does seem like kind of like a mid-range killer, for sure. Um, does seem kind of like a mid-range killer. Tails End? People are tails ending people in historic. Wow, that card's real good against us. All right. Well, we're just gonna jam boom boom until the cows come home, you know. What? Stop! No. Uh, forty-two resub month number two most important month. Thanks so much, my friend. I appreciate it. Thanks for the resub. You great. Happy to catch a live stream. Hope you are doing well. See, I should have kept that Ulamog, you know? I knew, we knew it was going to come to Ulamog. We just knew it, you know? I should have kept the Ulamog. Rev for three. Right. I've been there a few times. Cast a few revs in my day. So we have... We have eight mana. We could just cast Ugins, I guess. I'm probably playing Sensor, too, though, so... We just like can't really keep up with them as they're drawing draw million cards. That card's also really good. I, know my I think you want to draw land here. Play around sensor. I should never mind. They don't have two lands. I'm, I'm being. I haven't seen this card in a while. What's up, Ant Sky? How's it going, everyone? You're sitting. Welcome to the stream. My name is Jim Davis. We're playing a bunch of arena today because uh, ladder reset and uh, boom. How many? How many cards you got in hand? Eight. I don't care. It's only getting worse. You missed the announcement? You did. You did. I'll post it on Twitter. Wow, they're going to like let that resolve. Uh, is he minus five? Just guaranteed the fairy dies? In case they have a, uh, like a cast out or something? 2-2 Two -two shark also is also a thing too. That's pretty interesting. We could like, we could, uh, we could bolt to fairy and play on the shark. Doesn't play on cast out though. If they have cast out, we have Ugin. Or we could just guarantee that Teferi dies. I'm going to go up. This is wrong. I don't know. They have cast out. We can like Ugin the cast out maybe or something. I don't really know. We'll see what happens. 
See what happens. Alright, they had the cast out. That sucks. Yeah, it's unfortunate that we, our deck does seem very tuned for Jun Sacrifice, uh, Rakdos Sacrifice, and Goblins with our main deck cages. Um, obviously, Mystic Forge is much better here, but... Keep up the pace. Alright, so, kind of sneaky, but that's okay. They need to counter many things. They're going to hard cast Shark Typhoon. Oh my god. Can we Ugin them? Alright, let's play this Ugin and see what happens. Obviously, resolving an Ugin would be really, really good, so... They counter this one, we'll just try and jam this one. Oh, they're drawing a card! Wrong button! Okay. Okay. Let's do this. What's your plan here? What's your plan here? Friend. Now we're going to minus on six. Get off my plane. Tails end? Ho, 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 ho. I can guess this thing now too. Jeez. Hope you got planner cleansing, friend. Oh, spell pierce. Spell pierce. Just not enough, though. It just doesn't enough. Doesn't really matter, I don't think. I think you're dead. Hopefully. I'd be sad to lose this game, I'm not gonna lie. They're gonna commit my Ugin. So it is second from the top. And they're gonna play Gideon of the Trials. This is a plane worth saving. All right. Um. I've been waiting for this. Guardian Idol cannot deal damage to them, but District can. Radiant Fountain. All right. So you don't want to plus the. I guess we can plus. We can plus the Ugin. There's an Ugin. There's an Ugin on top. We don't really care. We have more Ugins. Uh. So we're gonna play Radiant Fountain. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten mana. Not enough to activate the district. Um, it's fine. Hey, Jim, for grand, grand finals next week. If I mess everywhere, do they ban it? I I don't know what they're thinking. I I, I couldn't even tell you what they're thinking. All right, I got no I got no idea. Oh, it costs two less. Right. Okay, we're great. Uh, so get rid of that and that and that and that and that. Perfect. Perfect. I volunteer as tribute. You go with this. Or you can go with that. Or you can go with this. You can go with that. You can go with this. You can go with that. I must revisit my training. Alright. Let's go. Now what? Cycle farmland. Mm-hmm. 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 That's a place to start. That's a place to start. Man, I thought we had no chance to win this game. I can't believe our spells resolved. What's up, GG? Oh, paper pick it back up? Oh, it's going to be a while. I mean... All right. I mean... I'm just going to play this for free. Plus this thing. Guardian Idol? Sure. Shark Flynn, resub. Thanks so much. I mean, kind of like a big shark here. I'm not gonna fire up any of my any of my creature things. Draw card. Cataracts. Just draw a card. Man, it really loves tapping mobilized district. Went went right for it. Karn the Great Creator. Alright, I mean. Just jam, right? Like whatever. Cost two. Who cares? I should have played this cataracts. In the middle of next year sounds somewhat reasonable. See how the vaccine works out and so on and so forth. Rev for two. Tiny rev. 
Tiny rev. I mean, minus this and get Mystic Forge, I guess. I will not lose another friend. Sure. Play Mystic. Play Cataracts, play Mystic Forge. Yeah, Sphinx's mild musing. Uh, wouldn't really call it a revelation there. Top cards, Ulamog, the Ceaseless Hunger. Uh, yeah, we'll just draw that one next turn, sure. Sure. Seal away. Yeah, sure. I'm also surprised they're still playing, but what are you going to do, you know? And they could, like, in theory, like, maybe Narset Memory all in one shot, but I don't see how they're beating all of this, so. Ah, that's the plan, okay. I called it. I don't think it really matters. Our top card is Ulamog anyway, so. Oh, there it is. Game. All right, so we're gonna take out our Graph Figures Gages and bring in our Mystic Forges and not bring in Pel Perilous Fall by accident. And I'm just gonna run it back. We're just doing it. This deck is sweet. I like this deck. What do y'all think of this deck? Huh? Talk to me. We have a lot of standard to play today, but I wanted to play, play this historic deck because I've had it on the, in the chamber for a little bit. Right talk, resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. What's up, Bjorn? What's up, Panda? How's it going, everyone? Uh, busy week for me. Uh, tomorrow, I'll be doing an early modern stream. Today, we're playing standard all day after this, uh, after this one league or whatever deck. And tomorrow morning is modern. I'll be playing a couple, couple new modern decks. On Friday, uh, Friday evening at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, I'll be playing Among Us with the MTG Goldfish crew. Uh, hello, everybody. It's Seth. Probably better known as Killed in Electrical by Jim. And uh, Asian Avenger, their whole crew. That's going to be uh, streamed on Friday night at 9 p.m. here on my channel. And, um, and then on Saturday, on Saturday, I'm doing coverage. I'll be in the booth. That's right. I'll be doing a coverage of Jeff Hoagland in uh, the Hooglandia Open, which is super cool. And uh, we're doing, it's Modified Historic. Modified Historic, um, I believe, Muxus, Euro, and Claim the Firstborn are banned. Please check the official site, or check the official stuff. I'm not actually sure. Um, and uh, so yeah, doing coverage all day. I'll be on, it's on Jeff's channel. Uh, it's gonna be great. It's really, really cool. So, Sean took a long time to, uh, to board there. Nicole's also playing Among Us on Friday. It's 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern. I believe. I believe. Uh, don't quote me on it. Oh, my God. Point of Mulligan's good. We're going to Mulligan, too. This is better. We can keep this. What is this tech? Mono Brown. I keep this. I think I want to keep the Karns. They're just cheaper. I ship the Ugin. We're a pretty light amount. Buffalo says, don't know if I've ever streamed Among Us, but we recommend you hide chat while you play. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. I have not streamed it yet. I've honestly played Among Us a number of times. It's kind of fun playing it off stream and just relaxing. Usually, like, me and Nicole play on a Friday night. I'll have, like, a, you know, a Jack and Ginger or something and relax. Uh, so it's been more of a, kind of a fun, casual thing, but... Couldn't pass up a chance to play with uh, with the MTG Goldfish crew. They're all great. So I like Seth a lot. I like Krim a lot. So my name is Mud. That's the uh, that's thumbnail for this video. Got it. My name is Mud. What? No, no Primus anyone. No. All right. We're going to try and not scry with this. We just want to draw a million cards off of it. So. M -m -m Mud. You want impressions of each of the goldfish crew? I don't really think I can do that. I don't know, like, does Krim have, like, a, like, a, a thing that he does usually, or? I, will, I hung out with Krim at, uh, at TwitchCon, which actually would be right now. You all want to get sad for a moment? Who wants to get sad? We love getting sad, right? It's a sad stream. We like being sad here. Oh, we're gifting subs. Holy cow. Um, how do I do like, my memories on Facebook? I don't use Facebook anymore. Timeline settings. Memories. Check-ins. I don't know. Well, 
One year ago, uh, one year ago today was TwitchCon last year, and TwitchCon was the was the bomb. TwitchCon was so much fun, uh, just the best, just the best. Uh, it's such a good time. Me and Nicole went, just awesome. I met a bunch of streamers, hung out with Sushi Dragon. What? 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 Hello, darkness, my old friend. Wow. Wow. It's okay. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, definitely super fun TwitchCon. I can't wait till we can like go outside again, you know? Oh, they're casting Kahira. No, we're not. All right, well, they killed all my artifacts with one card, and we can't do anything. Now this is game two. What do they name? Uh, this card destroys X artifacts. You don't gotta name anything. You just, you just do it. It just kills everything. This kills uh, all my stuff. Very rude, very rude. Trust me, you'll it's a card that was played against like Jun Food. Kills their, uh, you know, it kills their uh, their enchantment and their uh, and their foods and their. Uh, this is this is ridiculous. We just can't draw land. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna lose this game. Uh, so we'll discard. We have a full house of Karns here. And they're going to field of ruin me. I also have no basics, so we're going to go to the next game here. We're going to go to the, uh, go to the next game, uh. Get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. It's okay. I'm not worried. I'm not worried. What is the announcement? You missed it. You missed it. Now has been sleeping over there right now. You'll see him on, you'll see him on Twitter. All right, um, Igor, Igor, not a, that's not a puppy. It's not a puppy. It's a it's a new hamster. It's a new hamster named Igor. He's sleep. I'm not gonna wake him up. He's sleeping. Um, but I don't know if anyone made, made, made a clip. Anyone make a clip of the reveal? I would love that. We can make make it a, a mod, make it a mode of that or whatever. Not a mode, whatever. Uh, moderators, do your thing. All right, I don't pay you for nothing. I don't pay you at all, actually. Igor Turkey, yes, his name is Igor Sisterkin, named after the Rangers uh, goaltender. Don't spell pierce me. Okay, they have it. They definitely have it. No, okay. Our hamsters stinky? Not really. Like their their cage gets stinky after a while, but they aren't like like rats or ferrets where they smell. Search for Escanta. Yeah, sure, whatever. Whatever. Uh, all right. I mean, I'm just gonna draw cards. I go so. Yeah, no, no puppy yet. You are ready, Igor? Nicole says she wishes you were a puppy and she hates you. Nicole's so mean. Just the meanest. So mean. I gotta draw something nice here. All right, let's go. We're gonna lead on what? Actually, in the archive, honestly. Don't censor me. All right, cool. Play Mind Stone, too. Actually, I should, I should draw a card. That was better, better to draw a card. Not going to lie, I thought the accounts was we, we were married. Pfft, we're never getting married. <laughs> but Nicole and I decided to buy a house rather than get married, you know? We got no money. We, we, got, we actually have no money. We got nothing. I'm selling some stuff in the Discord if you're a sub. I'm selling two a set booster box of Zendikar, some, uh, some, some uh, TwitchCon, and... Gen Con playmats, go to the Discord, buy something, will you? Because we're we are our our kitchen is we we are having problems. <laughs> Woo! All right, let's go. We draw Karn. Karn. Um. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight mana. I should play the archive. I think. Play archive and see what they do, and then we'll play a Planeswalker. I think that Karn Scion is probably better than Karn the Great Creator. Then we'll have two left over to activate the tomb. So yeah, we could obviously do a court marriage, but we're basically married anyway. What what is what's being married anyway? You know, what is love, baby? You know, like we live together, we have a house together. All right, so they counted the thing. It's fine. We'll just say go and draw another card. 
tax breaks. Actually, it would cost us a bunch more money if we were uh, if we were married. Like thousands of dollars more in our taxes if we if we were married. Uh, hour of revelation. Holy cow! That's a rude card. All right. Uh, crawling barons can attack the fairy. Any longer. Let's skip to the good part. Yeah, we'll eventually get married, but at the moment right now, you know, we were, we were going to do a cruise wedding, and then that obviously fell through because of the coronavirus and stuff, and Ross says, you have to wait until the pandemic is over to get married, so I have an excuse to get sloppy drunk in a socially acceptable way. We wanted to do a cruise wedding. We had planned it out, then we canceled it because we wanted to buy the house, and then it would have gotten canceled because of coronavirus anyway, so we'll get there. I mean, Paul, I have a tax guy. He, he, he does our taxes and stuff. And he told us it would cost between three and $4,000 more in our taxes. So another Karn. We're just, we're just Karn, Karn-tastic here. Uh, we have two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 mana. Perfect. I think Ugin's more important. Let's play Karn first. Karn drawn. Ray says, can you help me understand why people are so upset? Banning Euro seems like it'll have to play removal. Yes, I think banning Euro will have a pretty negative effect on the four-color Omnath deck because it can't grind any very well anymore. Um, I haven't actually played Sander yet. We're about to, so uh, we'll find out. But, wow. So Karn resolves. Um, I kind of didn't, didn't see that coming, honestly. I was hoping they would counter it. I guess I should, maybe I should put Ugin first. They have only two in the bins. So we're pretty far from that. Um, making a creature here is pretty nice. We want to be able to pressure these planeswalkers and stuff. We could Cinder Barons the Teferi. They could have like a seal away or something though too. So, what do I think about Secret Layer? I don't really care. The product's not for me. I just don't really care about it. Um, hmm. I'm not playing Ugin into, into like Sensor and everything else. So just draw a card. No, the Omnath deck is still very, very good. I'm sure. But it doesn't feel infallible without Euro. With Euro, it's like there's just no angle to attack it. All right, we drew a land, which is not particularly exciting. Um, we can fire up the Barons. I'm going to fire it up. Let's, run up. Let's minus this first. So they can't, like, cast out. I don't know if they can do whatever. What? I hit the wrong button. Oh my god. I have minus one instead of minus two. It's okay. It's fine. It's gonna be alright. It's gonna be okay. Nobody panic. What's going on over there? Yeah, let's do it. Attack you. Eh? Oops. Oopsie. Do you want me to it's okay. You out of time? I told everyone not to panic. Don't panic. Just, just relax. It's okay. It's okay. What does it feel like when your chat initiates a punt? That was 100% me. I just like... The bottom ability is never the important one. You know, usually the, the second one is the is the minus ability. Need to move quickly. All right. Um, no, we're not panicking. No discos. All right. I hate panic if a disco. Nicole loves them. Wherever we're working on the house, Nicole tries to put it on. Narset. All right. We gotta get some some things done here, or we're gonna lose. Not having a creature in play is just absolutely just awful. Like we should have a a five five creature in play right now. And now we don't, and we're probably going to lose, which really sucks. So we go as Karns. Mobilize it. Just have haste. No. All right. I mean, I guess we're going to Crawling Barons. Um, I can't play Ugin into Vito. Like, I guess I can, but the Barons can kill Teferi, maybe. Don't want to draw off uh, off uh, anything right now. That's, that's definitely for sure. 
Alright. Let's just fire up here. Let's just start here and see what happens. They're gonna tail. They're gonna stifle my crawling barons activation. Do it again. Even if it's wrong, I'm doing it again. Stifle my crawling barons activation. Get off my plane. It's thanks for yeah. This line's really good. I agree. Um, all right. We'll just, like, hit the right button here on the car instruct. Uh, and then we'll just say go and draw a card on their turn. The fact that this deck gets so much utility out of its lands is really awesome. Like, we've gained a million life. We have two creature lands. Uh, it's just super sweet. Yeah, creature lands are the bomb. Elspeth conquers death. I mean, whatever. We have more more of that game from, so. Forsaken Monument? That's pretty cool. Um, we can definitely use this to bait the Dovin's Veto and then cast Ugin the Ineffable. We, 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 we do gotta kill this uh this search for Iskanta. Amaria's call? Sure. Or we can go Monument Karn. Hmm. It's gonna resolve, wow. So, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 mana right now. Okay. I guess we'll Karn. We're not gonna play Ugin. They clearly wanna counter the Ugin, so. Now they're gonna veto? You're you're insane. You're out of your mind, opponent. You're out of, you're out of your out of your mind. Alright, um We can still cast Karn too. I think we're gonna minus and make a token again. Um, kill Narset, and we're gonna kill the the search for Escanta because we're about there on that one. Your past is Awaken. We're gonna kill this just in case they have like. Actually, maybe we shouldn't kill it because they don't need. I they have Teferi, yes. We'll we'll just kill this. I think. Maybe maybe not actually. We just kill them. Can't, can't play two monuments, they're legendary. I mean, you can play two monuments, but I don't, I don't know why you'd want to. You want to get rolling, the life gain is good, but... My name is Mud. Not to be confused with Karn, Sign of Urza. Yeah, we're just going to try and kill him, I think. They get back to fairy next turn, or they'll play that's fair. Now they get now they get back nothing, which is great. So I know my responsibility. Sure. Bye bye, Karnstruct. Uh, I guess we can't draw, which is kind of a problem. So our our archives are archives are a little awkward. Mystic Forge, damn. Okay, oh I'll just do that. Why does it cost? I'll oh, cost four because of a uh, conqueror's death. Yeah. Blouses. What do you think of a blue splash for thirst for knowledge? I don't think that helps. This, the problem the problems with this deck is fast aggro, um, and I don't think thirst helps that. You know, so I don't think that really is a is a. I don't think you're you're adding to the the fabric of the deck by doing that. Um, well, it may be good. You're not solving any problems. You're probably just making more problems. So, yeah, deck's super sweet. Um, this deck seems awesome. 
this deck can find a way to beat uh, like really fast aggro draws. It's probably really, really good. So like it a lot. YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your thoughts on the deck in the comments. And I look for more standard decks too. YouTube folks, I love you. Thanks for watching.